Hey, how's everyone doing? Happy New Year. I hope everyone's New Year has started out as well as mine has. And I hope everyone had a great 2019. I know I did. So 2020 is going to be an excellent year. So I just wanted to start this off here. I wanted to do a quick review of this uh, new kit of RAM that I picked up here. It's a Patriot Viper. It's DDR4. It's a 2x8, 16 gig total, 4400 megahertz at a CL19. So it's 19, 19, 19, 39 timings at a 1.45 volts. So this is certainly Samsung b -Dye. Um That's what I was looking for is a... A, a nice uh, affordable kit of Samsung BDI so that I could uh, underclock it and tighten the timings up because I'm, I'm going to be testing this or using this with a uh, Ryzen 7 2700X paired with the uh, X470 Aces Crosshair 7 motherboard. So, so this is uh, this is the setup and this is what I'm going to test it on uh, or I've been testing it on and I'm going to give a report on today. Um, I've also got a 3800X uh, brand new one coming here in the mail so I'm going to do uh, another uh, review with uh, the 3800X and compared to the 2700X, but so far, so far, I've been super happy with the performance. I've been super happy with how these things have been. I would definitely advise people if they're looking to uh, to get a nice set of uh, high performing uh, RAM sticks that this Patriot Viper is is it. So this is probably the most cost effective 4400 megahertz kit that you can find, at least with CL19. Those flat time is 1919. And so uh, this is uh, Patriot Viper's top bin. So I wanted to roll the the, the dice and see if I could uh, win the Silicon Lottery and get some really good uh, Samsung uh, chips. And I think I got some pretty good ones here. I've been pretty happy with the performance. Um, I've got them to a benchmark up to 37.33 at a 14, 14, 14. But I'm running them daily with no errors. Uh, MIM tested at a 36.66 at a 14, 14, 14. Uh, TRFC 238, which I've been pretty happy with, and my voltage is at 1.475. So I haven't been had a chance to uh, tweak with that voltage down a little bit. I'm going to try to get them down closer to 145, but I'm happy with B die, and I'm happy to run B die up to 15 daily. So, so anyways, uh, let me show you the the sticks themselves. At least one stick. So I got one stick out. I've got. We've got another stick that it's already uh, installed there, so just want to show them. It's nice looking, nice aesthetically looking. It's got the aluminum heat sink, a nice silver one. It's got the nice Viper head there, so it's kind of a Cobra Commander-y. And then if you look at the top there, there's a little bit of heat fins there, the black ones. Those are plastic. So this, uh, the heat sink and the, the chips themselves, uh, they're not quite as nice as my G-Skill or my Corsair sticks, but I would say that the chips underneath the, the heat sink are on par but you can see it's an A2 layout so we got groups of four on each side and then it's a single rank stick so these are really good overclockers um, so anyways let's uh, let's go ahead and get these installed into my system and like I said before I'm testing it with the Ryzen 7 2700X with the Asus Crosshair 7 board so X470 chipset there we go get a little light on there and then I'll show you where we're at here. So there we go. And so you can see the stick there. I've got one already in uh, slot A2. And usually the sticker is going to be on the CPU side. So usually what I do is I'll just take the stick there and I'll do a preliminary lineup. So I'll line the top up, line the bottom up, push it in a little bit, just get them all lined up nice because you got to push them in there pretty hard. And just go ahead and give them two clicks. There you go. They're in there real nice there. They're in slot A2, B2. Um, that's what you want for optimum settings, for optimum performance. Uh, like I said, this is a Asus Crosshair 7 board, so it is a daisy chain topology. And so uh, two sticks, dual channel work the best here. So most most uh, motherboards are uh, daisy chain topology because they're just uh, they're a little better for overclock and they give a little bit better performance. But if you're looking for four dims and if you're looking for four dims with dual rank and uh, you know high density, then you, you might want to look for the the uh, T topology boards. And some of those boards are the the Azrock ones. But anyways, this is a uh, this is the optimum setup here. So let's go ahead and get that fired up, and then we want to hop into the BIOS real quick. And uh, I want to show you some of my settings and everything, how I have this all set up. So my timings, uh, my voltage, and everything. But you can see that. I mean, it looks real nice. I really like the look. My, you know, the, the board itself is a, 
it's a uh, it, it's black and silver itself, so those things actually were you know they actually looked really great in there. I like them aesthetically, and then their performance has been uh, better than I actually expect them to be. So let's go ahead and transition back here and let's take a look at my BIOS here. So here we have it. All right, here we go. So you can see my, some of my settings here. This is my daily clocker. So. Uh, here I'm at 43.5 or so, 4.35 gigahertz, uh, DDR4, so it's 3666 frequency, and then let me show you my uh, my voltage here. So I have a 1, 1.38 voltage on my CPU, I've got a slight SOC voltage offset, and then my DRAM voltage 1475, and then let's go ahead and just look at uh, my load line. Load line level 4, 140, and then my uh, VDSOC load line is uh, level 4, 140%. Maxed out my DRAM current capacity extreme. I set my switching frequency as high as it will go. And then there's my boot voltage, 147. So that is where I'm there. And then let's show you my timings here. And you can see there those first two, the TCL 14, T, TRCD 14. So that's how you know it's Samsung B die is that you can run these in parity. And then we're looking at 14, 14. Uh, TFOS 16, then if you're looking at TWTRL and then TWR there, a lot of times we run these at 12.12, but this can help with stability as to raise these, or it, it, it affects performance as well, but I have them at 8.10, could probably get those down to 8.8, 8. and then uh, you see here a TRFC, that'll affect performance too, so there, that's pretty good, so 238, so how I come up with these is, uh, is uh, well actually the, how I come up with the TRFC 2 and 4 is I take 238 divided by 1.346, I get 177, and then I divide that by 1.625, get 109. TCWL could probably go down to 12, I just haven't had enough time to uh, to uh, uh, play with it and adjust it, see if I can get it to post and run uh, run stably with that, with that low of a TCWL, but you can see right there, command rate one, gear down mode is on, I think we're about ready, so let's go ahead and let's post. All right, so we're just gonna post and then I'm just going to uh, show you some of my benchmarks that I've been able to achieve and then uh, let you check it out. But yeah, I've been super happy. I've actually got um, two other kits coming. I've got two more uh, two by eight 16 gig kit kits coming. Um, I've got a Team Force kit. It's a 4133 CL181838. At 1.4 volts, and then I have a, uh, a G Skill Trident Z Royal uh, 4000 megahertz at 171717 17, at 135 volts. So that might be the best beat I've been there is, is that uh, 4017 CL G Skill kit. So I'm real excited for that. It's at a low latency or it's at low voltage, 1.35 volts. So there should be some good headroom with uh, overclocking or, or say underclocking and tightening the timing. So I'm pretty excited for those for sure. And so, like I said, also I've got a 3800X coming. Um, so I'm going to do uh, reviews uh, paired with the 2700X for all my all the RAM all my RAM kits, and then I'm going to do a 3800X and then I compare them all, compare performance, and see if. See if uh, that's a myth or not that uh, the 2000 series don't have as good of a memory controller. So here's where we're at. We've got a couple benchmarks here. Now this is my daily driver here. Been super happy with here. My daily driver. So we're at 435 on the CPU at 1.38 volts, and then we're at uh, uh, for the RAM 3666 at 14, 14, 14, 238 TRFC. You can see I'm at, my score is a uh, 2027 which is pretty pretty good for your daily driver and you can see my patriot uh viper a 44c19 and then my crosshair 7 board here so i'm using the gesa uh, 1002 and it's a uh, bios version 2501 so I, I once i go any higher on that it you know the the performance seemed to have degraded quite a bit so anyways here's my top here's my top spec here so we're talking 2069 um, is my highest score here, but I, I'm overclocking the CPU at 445 uh, uh, gigahertz at uh, 1.45 volts, and then you can see this is actually when I had these uh, these Patriot Vipers at 3733 with 14, 14, 14. So I could get them to post and benchmark, but they were you know creating the BSODs and they were uh, 
they uh, were just accumulating too many errors, so I couldn't run them on this. So that's why I downclocked them to 3666. They're all MIM tested. So they run really well at that 3666. But you can see my score there, 2069. Which, if you look at HW Bot and you look in my category with 2700x on an AIO, this would be about third in the world right now. So. I'm pretty happy with this setup. Uh, that's a killer 2700X, and then like I said, I've got 3800X coming, so I'm gonna just uh, kick this 2700X down to my lady, uh, let her run some of my G-Skill uh, 32 CL14 sets, and then I'll just keep uh, messing with these uh, single rank uh, A2 layouts and uh, see how see how uh, see if I can hit that diamond standard for Ryzen, which is 3800 uh, megahertz CL14. So, so that that's one of the things about these sticks here is, you know, I'm running Ryzen. Ryzen's real popular right now uh, for, with, you know, with building and so on. So you're not going to run these kits at 4,400 on Ryzen. You don't want to, the highest you want to go is 3,733 or 3,800, depending on what your CPU's Infinity Fabric can go to. So if you can get it to the 14, 14, 14, or even 14, uh, 15 TCRD with 3,733 or 3,800, you're, you're hitting diamond standards there. So so that's what you want to try to hit if you're running AMD Ryzen. You're trying to hit 3800 CL14, and I'm hoping that once I get that 3800X, I'm able to do that with these with this kit here. But otherwise, it's I mean this is killer. I mean I've been super happy with it. The scores, the latency. So this one here is at 445 gigahertz at 3666, and you can see the read. Right, so you're talking about 58 uh, and a half read, and then you're talking about latency at 56.8. So I've kind of hit a wall on the latency with Ryzen, right about 57 uh, nanoseconds, but that's that's really good for Ryzen. I've been super happy with that, and the the RAM's at 36.66 there. So let's go to the next one. This is a uh, my daily driver amount, so 435 gigahertz. It's a uh, 3666 at 14, 14, 14, and you can see my read, write, copy, my latency 57.2 nanoseconds. Super happy with that. And then here's when here's here's a uh, my benchmark with uh, 435 on the CPU, and then 3733 with 14, 14, 14. You can see my reads over 59, and my latency is right about 57 nanoseconds. So these things I've been uh. What can I say? But I've been just really happy with these things, and and uh, these sticks are just, you know, they're killer. So I'm actually uh, real excited to get my two other uh, sets that I'm going to do uh, reviews on, and then I get my new CPU. So I'll have a little bit more content coming out, and maybe I'll start uh, figuring out how to make higher quality uh, content and everything. But if if uh, anyone has any questions, you know, uh, feel free to leave a leave a question or leave a, leave a remark. And uh, I appreciate everybody's time, attention. Um, I love this shit. I love RAM overclocking. It's probably my favorite thing. So uh, hopefully we can get a little bit of content out. We'll test it on Ryzen. I don't I, I don't have any good uh, Z390 boards or any good CPUs to run with uh, Intel. But Intel would be a lot of fun because you can clock the RAM much higher. So, but anyways, I appreciate your time, attention, and everyone have a great day. Thank you much. Talk to you later. Late.